Innuendo Bingo. Scott, Sam wasn't very well last week. Is right. a week long enough to get over something like the norovirus? It's oh yeah, you'll be fine. I had an eye infection as well. Get ready. Oh wow. <laughs> well, haven't you been in the wars? Mm. Um, <laughs> what? It's fine. It's Is a it? week ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be all right. Okay, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> Into the bingo with Sam at Trusty starts now on Radio One. Here we go, mate. Okay. Good luck, everyone. First off. We're going to the clip that everyone sent us. Hundreds, maybe even thousands of you. It's Greg Wallace on MasterChef The Professionals. Do you ever feel like MasterChef's on all the time? Mm. Like every day, every night? Mm -hmm. They must do so many episodes. So hardly surprising that sometimes your mind will wander a little bit. Love the natural saltiness of those oysters. It's just missing probably the most important important part and that is the sauce that was going to bring everything together. I'm desperate to dip that pork into something wet. <laughs> so many people sent that in. Greg Wallace there from Master Chef the Professional. I'm desperate <sighs> to dip that pork, pork into something wet. It's going through a dry patch, isn't he? Yeah. I swallowed there by mistake, I got confused. You swallowed it. I swallowed it. Swallowed it hard. It's okay. Yeah. It's only the first clip. Took the full load by mistake. Mm. And now over to one of our favourites from earlier in the week, BBC Radio 4 and Gardener's Question Time. And we join a very keen gardener discussing his 400-year-old oak tree. <laughs> now, I love a tree, but not as much as this man. <laughs> I had a similar event with a, an oak tree of mine, which I think is about 350 or 400 years old. And... Uh, <laughs> We cleaned it up a bit to help the water to run off, but they've got the most marvellous bone. They've got the most marvellous bonus. <laughs> As you do from 400-year-old trees. Oh. Are you aiming for there? No. Sorry, I was actually aiming away from you. And they've got the most marvellous bonus. Oh. That's appropriate. <laughs> now it's winter watch. Winter Watch on the BBC. Sam, have you ever seen a Scottish wildcat? <laughs> um, not in, I don't think so. Not no. in the wild, no. OK, all right. Take some water, please. Maybe in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> so I don't think you've seen a Scottish wildcat. <laughs> Anyone seen what Chris Packham's just spotted here? Our wild cat quest continues. We're on the quest to track down a true Scottish wild cat. And I get Michaela out of bed to show her black cock in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, of course, talking about the black grouse, or, as it's more affectionately known, the black cock. I've seen it. From I've seen Winterwatch those. there. I've seen those. Yeah. And now it's a classic from Bargain Hunt with Tim Monocott. Now, the best I ever got from my grandmother was a peck on the chin. Good some spray. Of the, some of the virus in there. <laughs> The best I got from my gram was a peck on the cheek. Water? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> but listen to what a lucky boy Charles Paget Wade was. This lovely manor in Gloucestershire was home to the collector Charles Paget Wade. <laughs> As a boy, his grandmother would let him peek into her Chinese cabinet. That's definitely one. It is one. That's an avant-garde one. Mm -hmm. That's so Slightly left field, I like As a boy, his grandmother would let him peek into her Chinese cabinet. And now... <laughs> <laughs> now we're going over to Jamie Oliver's 15-minute meals. We join Jamie in the middle of a demonstration. <laughs> I missed. You missed your mouth when he tried to drink the water. By the sounds of what Jamie's doing, it's a, it's a good job he's not called the Naked Chef anymore. Just very simply, use a knife to take the corn off. And you'll, you'll know, it, it should just literally go down like that. And if it doesn't, that's because you're going too deep. So you don't want to go in too deep, you want to just sort of keep it sort of just shallow near the tip 
of your chopper. <laughs> 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 Multiple spursing there from Sam. <laughs> and a good tip there from Jamie Oliver. Sort of just shallow, near the tip of your chopper. Now we're going to the cricket on Channel 5. <laughs> <laughs> See, he loves this game. I love how much this brings you joy. <laughs> no one would expect it. No. It's the awkward dead silence between clips that yeah. actually makes me laugh. Man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So the cricket, and it's Pakistan's captain, Ms. Bar or Hack. Now, I don't really get cricket, but I think I'll agree from this clip, Ms. Bar's sounding like quite a sore loser. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. They haven't uh, taken wickets with the spin. The seam is bowled really well, so uh, we need to be ready for that because you can't control tosses. Oh, wow, Chris. That was, I know. Sam held it in. Chris, straight to the face well, there. Face, Sam. Very well. Because you can't control tosses. Okay. <laughs> I might put that one back. Water, please. <laughs> Next, it's a classic, classic clip from Sir Cliff Richard. Mm-mm. Talking about one of his musical heroes, mm. Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's okay, son. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, Chris, <laughs> what's up? Oh, they've both lost it now. <laughs> Not had this one for a while. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Now, we've all got our idols. <laughs> Chris, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is more like vomiting than <laughs> spitting. <laughs> it is good. Let's come on, let Sir Cliff speak. We've all got our idols. But I'm not sure I love mine as much as Sir Cliff does. I didn't just want to be like Elvis, I wanted to be him. I'd like to have woken up and found it. I was inside him. <laughs> He knew, he must have known. No, I don't think so. He knew what he was doing. I'd like to have woken up and found it. I was inside him. And finally, we're going to the sports news on Simon Mayo's show on BBC Radio 2. This sounds like quite the achievement from jockey Paddy Brennan. But I don't know how Colin would feel about it. And jockey Paddy Brennan has clocked up his 1,000th jumps win in Britain and Ireland. He was riding Colin's sister. <laughs> That's the name of the horse there, of course. Sam McTrusty, you survived another innuendo bingo, and well, thanks mate. so much for it. That was an incredible game today. If you couldn't watch it live, yeah, we'll have a video for you later. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. One.